second period. And now to the high school ranks we go. Some great matinee action today over at the Heritage Center between the Duluth East Greyhounds and the Wolverines from Rockridge. And it was senior night for both squads as we take a look as the Greyhound seniors take the ice and met their parents on the ice pre-game. We start in the first period. Defenseman Luke Anderson fans on the shot, but Cole Caden is there to put the backhander in Duluth East, grabbing that early one to nothing lead. But Rockridge would answer right before the period ends and the, on the power play, and Levi Flatley is able to deposit the loose change to tie us up at one apiece. Now we go into the third period, tied at two. Wolverines down low, and sophomore Kaz Carlson pokes it past the Greyhounds goalie, gives the Rockridge fans some love as it's now three to two Wolverines. But those Greyhounds would have an answer of their own. Wyatt Peterson just waits out the goalie. What patience, and slides it in on the backhand. Back and forth we go, tied up at three, and now we head into overtime, and that's where Peterson is sprung on a breakaway. He fakes out the goalie, and the ref does confirm that we have a good goal on the ice. Wyatt Peterson's second goal of the day gives Duluth East the 4-3 overtime win over the Rock Ridge Wolverines. And now to the hockey hotbed of the Northland. It's the home of those number two ranked Hermantown Hawks who welcomed in the White Bear Lake Bears. Both teams sitting at 11-3 on the season. So as they say, let's do that hockey first period. A battle along the boards, but it's the Hawks who come away with the puck. And Bodie Medill knocks a top shelf shot past Leo Gabriel to make it a 1-0 game for Hermantown. However, it didn't take long for those Bears to respond. Zach Bay to Kevin Laska, who finds space and net to knot it up all at one. Second period now right out of the faceoff. White Bears wins that one, and from the blue line, Tyler Lalonde tickles the puck past Dane Calloway. And the visiting Bears rob the lead right back. It's 2-1 in same period, and more bad news for the home team. Turnover breakaway, and Vinny Valella just shows how he drew it up. Goes five hole as the Bears add the insurance goal to make it 3-1. And while H-Town adds another before the final frame, that's where it stays. Hermantown falls to the Bears 3-2 the final.